Sometimes I compare myself to playing cards. I feel like I want to become a six, but my skill level is only at four. But if I work hard enough and I believe in myself, then you can slowly, slowly start looking like a six. What's up, my gorgeous friends on the internet? In this episode, I'm going to show you how to host your website for free. So if you have a portfolio website or maybe a business that you want to put online for the world to see, well, you came to the right place. I'm also going to show you how you can add a form, so a contact form, and you can get messages through your website. So. Before we get going, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, web development, and pretty much every creative outlet that you can imagine. You can find some great courses. There's one on becoming a full stack web developer, if that's what you're interested in. One of my favorite design courses is on here, and I always come back for it for some tips and tricks. These courses contributed a ton to my success, and I always come back to them whenever I want to extend my skill set. My favorite thing about these courses are that they're straight to the point. I don't have to sit there for 10 or 20 hours to get some valuable information out of them. They're short and sweet and for me that's one of the best ways you can learn. If you're a student or you're just curious about learning, you can have access to all of these courses for less than $10 on an annual subscription. You can join by clicking the link in the description and the first 500 of you will get a two month free trial so you have nothing to lose. Okay, let's get going. So the first thing I have here is just a website I just made. It's super basic, super ugly, uh, just nothing interesting, but doesn't matter. I just have an index.html here with a CSS and a bit of JavaScript and I have a super ugly form, but that's fine. All right, so how can we host this online? Well, we can use something called Netlify. And this allows us to host our static websites with, with a super, super easy way. Okay. And, and if like, you can also do CMSs if you want. So if you want to host a blog, you can do that. It's just a bit more tricky. And the way you can do that is using a static site generator like Gatsby. If you want to see something like that, let me know down in the comments and I might do it. So you can also do that. But we're going to keep it simple today. We're just going to deploy this basic website, which can be your portfolio. It can be your, I don't know, just a business website. Um, but yeah, Ed, stop talking. Show me how to do it. So you can sign up on Netlify here. And once we log in, you should be brought to this dashboard here. Now, I already have a few ones deployed here. So you might have saw one of these if you've been watching me. Uh, I think this is like a weird JavaScript music app here. Yeah, okay, never mind. So I hosted a couple already, but we are going to start from fresh. So the easiest way you can deploy one is just go to your folder where you have your website. So it's here and you just drag the folder right here and you let go. And it's going to say uploading. It's going to do its magic and it's automatically going to deploy everything. It's going to say published and hey, that's it your website is live. So you get a random generated link up here. And if we click on it, then take a look, we have our website live. And the nice thing is we also have HTTPS automatically enabled. So that's super duper cool that our, our it's also secured. So cool. All right. But how can we add a custom domain? Because I don't want to have elated Lichterman here. Well, we can just go to set up a custom domain here. Now I already have one, which is this one, and it should not load up. It's giving me this weird error because I think I removed it before this video. So it's going to say that, hey, this thing is just not working. Okay, it's okay. Let's try to add it. So we can just add this custom domain I just made. Edwin. So let's add www.edwin.com. There we go. So we can verify and it's going to say already has an owner. So that's me. So I'm just going to click yes, add the domain. And after that, let's scroll up here and these two should be added here. So www.edwin.com and without the www, Ugh, that's hard to say. Okay. So everything is fine here. Now, if this doesn't work, don't worry. Let's refresh. If this still doesn't work again, just it's okay. Oh, I dragged that in another tab, but that's fine. 
Well, what we can do is, well, I, I bought this domain with Namecheap. So I'm just gonna show you quickly what you can do. So here on Namecheap, I'm just gonna go to manage. If you have your, if you bought your domain on something else, you should still be able to do this if you search around and find it somewhere in the settings. But on Namecheap, it's on advanced DNS. So search for something called DNS and you should land on this page here. And here you can add an A record here. So you can add a new record, A record, and the host is going to be at, and you can add the IP address that it's, is right up here. So 104.198.1452. I'm going to get rid of this one. And then you're going to add a, another record that's going to be a CNAME record. And here you would just type www. Let me get rid of this one again. And then the URL that Netlify is giving you. So let's go back here to the domain settings and this is the one you want to copy. So the default subdomain up here. I'm going to copy this and just paste it in here. Paste it in here and just hit OK. And now don't worry if your website doesn't is, is not working yet because this might take uh, some time. So let's just wait for this one a bit. We can also scroll down here and say provision a certificate. So DNS verification was successful. We're ready to provision a TLS certificate with Let's Encrypt. So just click on provision and hit sending request. And let's see, we could not provision the Let's Encrypt certificate for your custom domain. So let's verify this again. And again, if it doesn't work, that just means that we might have to wait a bit. And take a look, actually, it works now. So if I hit refresh, it's gonna say HTTPS, www.edwinsimo.com, and we have our website live. So that's super, super cool. Let's hit refresh here. Let's take a look if anything changed. And let's go down here. And as you can see, it, this automatically activated actually this HTTPS for us. Cause I saw like, oh, okay, it's active here. So I guess it activates once the website goes live. Let's take a look on how we can update this if we want. It's super, super simple. All we have to do is we can click on deploys here. I'm gonna leave this open. And maybe I just wanna change like the title of my website. I don't like swirl anymore. I wanna get creative on this one. So I can just open up my index.html and VS code. I can go down here to my logo. So I have swirl. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it switcheroony like that. Hit save. And all I have to do to update this, I'm gonna open up Netlify again. And here, just go to my folder again and just drag it again on the screen. And that's it. I didn't drag it, I'm stupid. I'll drag it again. And there we go, it's gonna say uploading and published. So if we take a look again, look at that, switch Rooney. So we can make super easy changes fast and Netlify is gonna take care of everything for us. Awesome. All right, let's take a look on how we can add some, maybe I want this form to become usable. So all you have to do is you can take a look here. If you go to forms, there we go. Mine is activated. So this might be deactivated for you. I'm not sure what the default is, but if you see like activate form, you can activate that. And all you have to do is just go to your code again. So I'm going to go to VS code open this up here. And if I'll scroll down to my form down here, so I just have a form and let me delete everything in here. Okay. So just a form, I just have an input with a name of name, an input type email with an email and just a text area where people can add some a message or a description and just a button that's going to say become a member and that's it. And to make this functional with Netlify, <laughs> literally all you have to do is go to your form. So in here, this is the form tag and just add Netlify, Netlify. And that's it. Hit save. Make sure to add the changes uh, and drop it into Netlify again. So I'm going to reopen Netlify. Just drop it and not here. We have to go to deploys. There we go. Just drop it in here. My, my dragging dropping skills are terrible today. There we go. It's going to say published, hit, everything is okay. 
and I'll take a look if we scroll down and I'll just leave my name with a random email all right and I'll just type a message of hey this is coming from your live website exclamation 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 please subscribe I give $20 okay and I'll hit become a member and it's gonna say thank you your form has been received so I'm gonna hit go back to your website that's automatically gonna redirect you here but now if we go back to Netlify and we, we hit refresh we should see if we scroll down here that we have a recent form submissions and there is my message I can click on it and there we go we have our name our email and our description we can delete mark as spam and do all the other crazy cool things we can also download it if we want so there we go you just literally add Netlify to your form and you're done with it so hey there we go that's it let me kind of show you if you want to do this with Git so if you have Git and GitHub uh, you can also deploy websites using that so for that very quickly all you can do is you can just go here to new site from Git and you can select GitHub or maybe you have with Bitbucket or something else and after you do that all your repositories are gonna appear in here very very cool so I can select one uh, that I want to use so oh, these are I think the tutorials I kind of did let's take a look at dreamer here so I'm gonna hit dreamer and all I have to do it's gonna say my name here the master branch that's fine you also have access to some build commands here so if you have again if you're doing like a Gatsby project or something more complex then you can also use build commands but for this one it's fine because it's just a basic static website so I'm just gonna hit deploy and it's automatically gonna do it for us there we go and we can hit it and let's take a look and take a look our website is live and we have a bit of animation there as well and the cool thing is now if we want to do changes to this what we can do is we can just push from github so as as soon as you push a new code up to github uh, then netlify is automatically going to recognize the changes and it's automatically going to rebuild uh, this for you so you don't have to drag and drop anymore it's going to be automatic if you use github and yeah that's it so it's super simple I love to use this one any static website that you have Netlify is probably the best um, solution for you if you also work with something more complex like react um, then you can also use that uh, on Netlify so you can drop in your react project and build it out live here and a last thing I want to show you just a few tips and tricks here if we go to let's take a look settings here is you have something called let's go down build and deploy and let's go down to post processing we can also inject some uh, script or HTML in your website so you can do this after you deploy your website you can just add a snippet and take a look right there if you want to add something in your body uh, then you can just add it here or your header if you want to add some additional information so you can do that you can inject code in it you can also do asset optimization so if you're lazy and you're not optimizing your images or your CSS or JavaScript you can disable this uh, you can disable asset optimization here all right and you can have access to all of these so compressing images minifying JS and pretty URLs which is basically going to remove the about.html uh, from like if you navigate to another page and it's only gonna show slash about so it's gonna simplify it make it look pretty and yeah by default I'll just say just leave everything activated here and Netlify is gonna take care of everything for you hit safe especially the image compression uh, is is very helpful so there you go hope you enjoyed this video thank you again very much for being here I actually forgot to turn on the lights there in the background I usually just sneak up there and just turn them on but today is not the daylights not today all right so i'll see you next time make sure to drop the sub and and all the other good stuff and yeah i'm being awkward right now so i think i should leave i should leave <laughs>